Houston going to Texas Tech. I brought this one up just a little bit ago. And Dana Holgerson, of course, heading to Lubbock, Texas. My goodness, uh, he loves to show out against Big 12 competition after leaving West Virginia, and he gets another opportunity to do so. Texas Tech is a three-and-a-half-point favorite at home, the latest line over at BetUS, and the total sits at 63, so they expect points. It's a 4 p.m. Eastern time game on FS1. Uh, Houston, 5-1 and one against the spread following a spread loss. However, they are 1-4 and four, their last five against the spread against winning teams. Uh, Texas Tech, 4-1 and one against the spread against the AAC in their last five matchups. However, coming off of a spread win, they are 1-5-1. and one. That is their last seven after a spread win, and they did get a spread win last week. So, uh, Houston, the way that that game went last week against UTSA, it looked like those guys thought that they were just going to walk into the Alamo Dome and be able to sneak out with a win and they didn't have to really fully prepare for it, etc. And they got lucky, and they did, in fact, get a win in quadruple overtime, or three overtimes, or whatever it was. A lot of overtime. They, they, got, to, they got to the two-point conversions, right? But Clayton Toon bailed them out. They found ways to make plays at the end of the game, even though they were down 21-7 to going into the fourth quarter. And they ended up winning the game 37-35. to uh, yes, Texas Tech is a little bit of a different deal than UTSA. I don't believe that Texas Tech is better coached than UTSA. And I don't believe that this game means as much to Texas Tech as it did to UTSA. With that being said, Dana Holgerson in this spot, I think will be able to shock Texas Tech. Plus three and a half here. I'm going to take the Cougars. I like what they're doing. I think that they are going to be much more prepared for this because I think they were preparing for this game more so than the last game. Remember, this is a future Big 12 matchup. That's the way that I see this. I think Clayton Toon is going to have a lot of success against that Texas Tech secondary. Look, I like Smith. I like what he's doing at quarterback there. I don't think he is the ideal quarterback that Kitley wanted to run with, and I think there's going to be some growing pains in this game. Uh, Now, don't forget, Doug Belk, the defense coordinator at Houston, uh, really, really good last year. I expect him to have a game plan out of this world for this weekend. So we will see, but I will take Houston plus three and a half in this spot. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.